the feast of St. Patrick is a feast. But is it only a feast? Why has this feast uh, become so important in our lives, in the Irish people's lives, but also in Canadian life? I, I propose to you that uh, the Feast of St. Patrick is also a message. It's a feast, but it's also a message. A message of prayer, a message of friendship, a message of peace and reconciliation. A message of prayer for St. Fa- uh, Patrick uh, was uh, born in a Christian family. But what, like what happens often is that as very young, early adolescence, he grew indifferent to faith. But he went through hardships from 15 to for six years, from 15, 16 years old, for six years, he was a slave. And somehow with the grace of God, he he was attracted to prayer and he began praying. And to praying Jesus Christ, he discovered like he had never discovered before, like he had never known before, he discovered the love of God. And in time, Uh, through prayer, he received the desire to proclaim the love of God to uh, the Irish people where he he had been a slave. So prayer led him to discovering the love of God and to proclaiming the love of God. How did he proclaim the love of God? What did he say to proclaim the love of God? I see that we have in today's gospel this very important passage where Jesus says he will draw to himself all the nations of the world, all the people of the world. Where from? From the cross. Because on the cross is the ultimate manifestation, expression, communication of God and of his love and of his presence in our lives. So he preached the the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God by preaching the cross. He was a preacher of the cross. And through the cross, he announced and he proclaimed and he touched people's life so that they would open their heart to the love of God and discover the love of God and the love of Jesus Christ and the meaning of the cross and the salvation that comes through the cross. So the St. Patrick feast day is a is a, is a message of prayer, how important prayer is in our personal lives, in our uh, family life, and even if it's not obvious today, I would add in our social life. Prayer is important because it allows us to gather as individual, as families, and as a society that not only that God exists, but that He is love, and He loves us, and He wants to be with us, through his son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for us on the cross. It's a message of prayer, but also a message of friendship. Because when you discover that God loves you, but not only that God loves you, but that God loves everyone. God loves uh, all, the na- all the nations under the, under the sun. God loves uh, all, the whole of humanity. God loves every one of us. Every human being is loved by God. So when I'm looking to someone, when I'm looking to someone who is loved by God, so it opens the way to friendship. This love that God, nothing opens the way to friendship like the love of God, like Jesus Christ. Because being disciple of Jesus Christ means learning to discover that we're all brothers and sisters. And being brothers and sisters, we're called to friendship. So friendship is, very, uh, is, is part of the message of St. Patrick, and we know it's part of the, the tradition, of Irish tradition, where a stranger is uh, seen in some poem or proverb as someone uh, who we have not met yet. So he's a future friend. That's what a, a stranger is, a future friend. So friendship is important, an important quality. So the uh, St. Patrick's feast day is a message of friendship. It becomes also a message of peace. 
a message of peace because uh, uh, as God, a creator and savior, created all of us to be in alliance with him, and that, that Jesus Christ uh, preached, uh, gave us his life, but also at the same time teach us the love for everyone, a universal love, a universal care, whoever the other is, to see in the other person who might be different from me, who might be in a, a different culture from mine, who might be a different faith from mine, but to see in that person someone who is created by God and loved by God. In that sense, uh, we all call also to be brothers and sisters in humanity. So it leads to building bridges. It, it leads to working for peace. It leads to working for reconciliation. This year is, uh, after, is the 150 years anniversary of the assassination of Darcy McGee. And uh, somehow he himself went into a pilgrimage. He had moments in his life where, where his heart was filled with hatred but uh, he ended up wanting to work for reconciliation. And he became one of the father of the Confederation by working for reconciliation and by working for peace. So, and method, so the, the Feast of St. Patrick is a very important feast day because it, uh, it's, not on, it's not only a feast, it's, it's more than a feast. It's a deep message of hope, a deep message of prayer, a deep message of friendship and a deep message of peace uh, where we called every one of us, of, of us to work for reconciliation. So let, let us feast uh, this day, this uh, St. Patrick's Day, with the sense of an open heart uh, that ca can believe and hope that it's possible to build bridges, it's possible to, uh, to build a better world, it's possible to, uh, to build links between us, it's possible to work for peace, and understanding. It's possible to encounter each other because with the message of, with the presence of Jesus Christ, our heart is open on, not only to God, but to everyone else, to each one of us.